she talking about the inborn errors of metabolism. Um, this tutorial will be going down on the Andersen's. Okay. So, um, we'll be talking about the Andersen's disease. We'll be looking at the causes of Andersen's disease. I will be looking at some pictures of Andersen's disease and everything. Okay. All right. So, our focus for this lecture is for us to discuss glycogen storage disease type 4 which is also known as the Andersen's disease, right? So this is um, liver stores glucose as glycogen, but this glycogen is not being able to be broken down into glucose. So glycogen storage disease type four is a genetic disorder that causes abnormal glycogen accumulation in the liver, muscles and other tissues, okay? And this will lead to symptoms uh, and findings in the first months of life, all right? Now, Anderson Tawil syndrome, all right, which is the full name, is a rare disorder that affects the heart, uh, physical features, and muscle functions. It is characterized by a long QT interval, all right? That's why you're talking about all those ECG wave stuff. There's abnormal heart rhythms too. There's low set ears too. There's a small lower jaw. There's hypokalemic periodic paralysis, right? So this is an, uh, a patient that has Anderson's Tawil syndrome. And you just note the jaw, right? Note the lower jaw, how it's looking small. So it is characterized by the absence of the branching enzyme amylo 1416 transglucosidase. And this results in accumulation of polysaccharides having few branches, okay? So, um, death could occur due to cardiac or liver failure, right? And usually occurs in the first year of life, right? So, this is pretty enough, right? Glycogen type 4 storage disease, which is the Andersen disease. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this lecture. It's just straightforward, just a simple one. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next uh, glycogen type 5 storage disease, all right? So see you guys. Bye.